how to create a content calendar in ClickUp step by step. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a content calendar to manage your social media work and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to ClickUp.com and you will land right here. ClickUp is a project management software that allows you to collaborate with your team, create different tasks and projects and build your business. In order to get started with ClickUp, you can just enter your email address right here and click on get started. It is free forever and there's no credit card required. So after the initial sign up or sign in to your ClickUp, this is where you will get. Now let's get into it. Let me show you how to create a content calendar. So I will be creating a content calendar for my social media today and I'll show you how I do that. So for that, we're going to actually go to the spaces here and we can create a new space. So I'm going to click right here give your space a name and for here we're going to actually go to the templates because there are different templates available on ClickUp uh, that allow us to create different boards and that allow us to create different spaces and here we're going to actually search for a template for content calendar and there it is you can see we have different content calendar available we have this one right here which is pretty simple then we have this here we have one for a podcast and we have class planning we have AB split uh, content management, then we have blog database as well. So even for social media, we have some of the other content and calendars available. We have one for a blog editorial calendar. We have content calendar, this one right here as well. So you can see all of these different um, content calendars are available. Now it totally depends on you, whatever niche you work in. Uh, if you want to manage your class, then you will select that one. If you want to create a simple project management content calendar, then you will go for this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one right here, the simplest one. So let's get started with a content calendar. This is what it will look like. Uh, and I'm going to click on use template. Now we can give our, uh, our folder a name and then you will select the space where you want to add it. So let's add it to my test workspace that I have. Then we have import everything or customize import items. Here we have different tasks. We have assignees, attachments, comments, attachment. We have dependencies, subtasks that I want to customize. Then click on use template and your new board will be created as a content calendar. And here we have our content calendar template. Uh, so you can see this is a list of views. So we can switch to the calendar view so that we can get actually the feel of a content calendar. Um, so I'm going to switch to a calendar view here. Keep in mind to your simple list or board that you have created, you can add a calendar view to it and it will give you a, you know, look like this. So now we have different tasks that we have already created. Now using a content calendar is also quite similar to how you will create the list. But let me actually show you. So these are going to be the different dates that we already have. You will find this plus button to create a task. And then we also have one at the bottom here. If you want to invite someone to your content calendar, a team member, then you will click on this share option at the top right corner, enter their email address, click on invite and an invitation will be sent to them to join you uh, right here on this board. We also have other views. We have a Gantt view, we have a timeline view, activity workload and mind map. In order to add a new view, click right here and you will be able to do so. We also have automate option here. I will be able to create different automations to customize my work and to save time. So to create a task, let's say I want to actually post something on YouTube. So this is actually going to be on Monday. So I'm going to select right here, enter the task, for instance, posts on YouTube. And then I'm going to click on done and a new task will be created right here. Let's create another task. I am going uh, to post on YouTube again on Thursday. So we're going to go for post on YouTube. This will help me get organized, productive and punctual with my work. I can also plan different things. We can also do planning. Of course, we can create different tags and categories to it too. How to add a label or category. So let's open up this task now. Just click on it and it will open it up. Here we have our uh, option. We have post on YouTube, right? Now I'm going to assign it to someone. Let's say I have a team member who does the posting for me. I'm going to add them here. In the description, I'm going to go with these slash commands and I will be adding a list right here. We can go with a checklist. So I'm going to scroll down to find it right here. Checklist. Perfect. 
and now we're gonna enter any of the checklist we want uh, here and similarly I can go with a slash command again and we can add like bullet points to it in the description so that my uh, team member will have an idea what we actually have to do so here we have edit tags so in tags I have one tag here uh, we can create a new one so I'm just gonna click right here and create a new tag which is going to be hosting perfect and this is the tag that I will add here now we can add some dependencies as well if I want to add any so we can do that here I can add priority to my task as well we're gonna actually keep it to let's say high priority then we have a time track so this is actually pretty good if you have a team member working on something and you want to keep track of the time then you will select this option here we have a due date so the due date is already added when you have a calendar view because i created this task within that block uh, i can also attach files so when it comes to a content calendar we have to add different attachments so you will click on add and it will allow you to upload a file from your computer you can upload a new document you can add file from your dropbox or your drive as well this is where i can add a checklist and we can also create a subtask within a task here once you're done you're going to click on save and your new content will be saved here and now i know i have to post on youtube similarly we have this task right here which is um like this tour one and this was already created we can also create different categories and different channels to it so how this is done is because this comes with a template i already got some channels and here i have different channels already created we have like facebook we have twitter youtube and others let's say i want to uh, go for youtube so i'm going to select youtube here and then we can also add the link to our social media so this is actually pretty impressive i can add a link here so that if i'm posting on youtube i will have the link here i will have the content that i want to so it will save me a lot of time especially if you are the owner of your content if you have a business you are the owner or you are the manager or content creator uh, the manager then you will be able to just create everything here add them assign it to someone and your work is done now they know what to do where to post on and they also have the link here so this is how it's work with a content calendar we have this one right here again we also can create different categories so for instance for this one let's actually go back to the test that i created so that i can show you everything from the scratch right so here we have different fields in fields i'm gonna go for category category this is going to be a tutorial channel in channel i'm going for youtube link in link we're gonna add the link to our youtube channel now i'm gonna scroll down to publish date so the publish date is going to be similar to the due date that i have for the task so i'm gonna select we have uh, 38 so i'm gonna go with that and we can go right here now we have shared url so this is where i will enter a url that is shared between the team so this is how i can add different categories how to add these uh, different channels well they come with a template as well uh, but if you want to create one you can do that uh, and you just have to actually go to the list view because it's easier here to find it you will find this add column click on add column and you will be able to create one here Let, for instance you also want to add email or you want to add different labels money phone rating uh task files so let's actually go with the file option as well and what will happen with this one is here i will be able to actually add my post my videos and images perfect so now we also have a post column here let's get back to the calendar view and i can attach a file here too now so i'm going to open up the task that we were creating and this will have a file option as well now you can see we have post click right here and now you can upload whatever you want to so this is actually pretty easy to do and i can do everything here with ClickUp. similarly you will create as many tasks as you like and we can also move a task really easily from one date to another let's say this was postponed to some other date so i will be able to do so and we can also update the status of a task really easily with a content calendar within our uh, click up so yeah guys i hope that i was a big help and now you know how to create a content calendar on ClickUp. don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel